Hi friends, it's Terhi here, back on my YouTube channel for a long time, but I think it's better later than never. Um, I have tons of new products from scrapbook.com to play with, and I'm showing you some of them. I'm first starting with these lovely stencils um, and the mint tape. It's actually really nice tape because you can you can use it as any tape, but um, it doesn't leave any kind of print to your papers or your surface if you use it for um, placing your uh, stencils or dies on the surface while doing something, as you can see here. Um, I'm just flipping this around and then using another ink. Obviously, oxide inks are not the perfect for just blending the inks and using them as um, coloring, but um, I want to spread them first and then I will do something else. This is mainly because I just want to try out these new products and uh, I didn't have any plan of what I'm creating and finally I ended up with the planner divider thing thingy um, but I think it's pretty cool so the oxide inks are creating magic when you drop a bit of water on top of them and that's what I'm doing as you can see there is forming these wonderful structures <laughs> uh, and uh, I think it will look really cool once they are finally drying, dried out. Um, I'm also going to add a bit of more color there just to make sure that I have tons of details everywhere because I'm not going to leave this uh, striped background as this. It just will be a part of something bigger. Um, these kind of projects that you are doing just for fun, for fun and for um, as a part of something bigger these are super great because you can try out and it doesn't matter that if there is some kind of small mistake somewhere or you know you have dropped some ink like black ink a huge dot somewhere because if you use just part of um, your paper or whatever it is then it really doesn't matter and that's what I like to do. I'm also going to do this huge splash here um, with a mix of oxide inks and water and then um, drops of Heidi Swap color shine mists. <laughs> it's looking quite fun when I'm mixing these two together because they are kind of different material even though they are both liquid but um, there are different things included inside the liquids. Anyways, um, at this point I actually made a huge mistake uh, with the big splash and um, by the way just adding a bit of um, golden texture paste again just for, uh, for um, trying out this lovely stencil but back to the mistake because I think the mistakes are the most fun thing to watch on YouTube from the craft videos like don't do this prefer this and usually the videos are so perfect so neat so tidy and no one is um, I mean I have got mostly all my mistakes out from my videos but not here. I could have, but I didn't. Um, as you can see, I'm spreading this embossing ink 
on top of the huge splash, which is a great technique um, usually. But if you are a busy crafter like I am, and especially when you are busy and um, inspired to do things, you end up with that on the top of this screen. The whole splash is now covered with the embossing powder because it was all wet. I didn't even once touch it with my finger to make sure it would be completely dry before adding those <clears throat> that powder, powder. And now it's all really shiny and neat. It's um, the embossing powder that I used was a clear one, so it's it has this <laughs> nice little cover. But I don't care. Again, I will use these um, mixed media areas for these for the dies. So that's why it really doesn't matter to make a small mistake. As you can see here, the live word the, um, in the middle is the one with this <laughs> shiny surface on top. And it doesn't matter here. It looks great actually, because it's so shiny. Um, and what I'm going to do now with these lovely die, die cuts is that I'm laminating them um, I don't have mink or anything fancy <laughs> machines like that, but um, I borrowed my mom's super old laminator, probably from the 80s or something, but it works and I'm just adding these separately into this pocket and then going through with the laminating machine couple of times to make sure that they are all vacuumed <laughs> inside like this. Mm. I'm, I, I first thought to make kind of mini album cover from this plastic, but then I decided that no, this would be fabulous as a planner divider. Um, because I didn't write any words with those um, alphas, I just added added them there inside the pocket and uh, just randomly. So inside the planner it will look good. It will be uh, slightly bigger than my planner is, so I can actually use it pretty good to just... Okay, losing words here. Anyway, it's a big bigger than my planner, so it will work just fine. And then, um, again, a little mistake. <clears throat> Once you use some kind of punch, make sure it's straight. Um, but it didn't matter again, because <laughs> I can do it again, and this time I'm making sure it's straight, like you. And I'm rounding the corners with this lovely, um, I don't remember the name, but anyway, these choppers from We Are Memory Keepers. And that's it. So I really hope you like this uh, little tips about what to do and what to, do, what to not do. And um, if I need to put this on one sentence, just do it. Just play with it and have fun. <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching and we will see you again soon. Bye!